So by default, when you attach a QEMU KVM virtual machine to a network using a bridge method, the host and the guest cannot talk to each other. Uh, I'll show you how to fix that. Hi, I'm Matt, welcome to Crazy Logic. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. Here I have a virtual machine um, running Ubuntu 20.10. Here's my host uh, terminal running Ubuntu 20.10. Uh, um, if I start pinging things on my network from my guest, I can access my router, for instance. I can ping another host that's on the network. Um, but if I try and uh, ping my physical machine where I'm hosting this virtual machine from, I get nothing back. Destination host unreachable. So that's what we're going to try and solve so that the physical machine or the host machine and the guest machine can talk to each other. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a bridge on the host. Um, so I'm using Ubuntu for both my host and guest here. So we're going to be using NetPlan to um, configure this. NetPlan was a configuration tool that was adopted in 18.04, I think, going forward. You can do this in previous um, Ubuntu's. I have, I used to do this all the time. Um, and you do it without using NetPlan, basically. There is another way of doing this, but NetPlan is the way that uh, these configurations are done currently within the Ubuntu ecosystem. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to turn the this host, this guest rather, I'm going to turn this guest off. So I'm going to shut down this guest. So as I say, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to modify a netplan file to create a bridge. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the netplan file. So sudo nano is my uh, editor of choice, and it's in itzy netplan. And then depending on which version of Ubuntu you're on, uh, it's called different things. So just tab, and you will find the default um, netplan. File. So in here you have your details. Now this is a YAML file. YAML uses double spaces for indents, not tab. If you use tabs it won't work. Um, so in here we are going to add some information. Now there is a little bit of a gotcha um, to this. So the first thing you need to know your interface name, which uh, I'll show you how to um, get quickly. And you also have to set a static IP address for your bridge. First thing we want is our interface name, so IP link show, which will give us a, a list of all of our links. This one here is my physical interface, ENP1S0. All these other ones are um, for virtual boxes, um, and this one is our loopback address, so ENP1S0. So in here, in our YAML file, I'm going to double space and then put Ethernet, and then colon, next line, and then quadruple space because I'm double indenting. And in here, I want to add my interface name, so ENP1S0, and then six tuplet space, so three indentations, and I'm going to set my DHCP4 to false. Now, I only have a DHCP4 server running on my network. If I had DHCP6, you'd add a second line, DHCP6 false. So I'm also going to add uh, a bridges section to this, uh, and in my bridges section, I'm going to quadruple tab in and then I'm going to create my bridge. So I'm going to call my bridge bridge and then followed by the name of the interface, like so. That's that if you have, um, well, this is why I do it, if you have multiple interfaces, which sometimes I do, um, I might want to bridge different machines onto different interfaces. So having bridge and then also the name of the interface that it's tied to means that you can identify which bridge. Uh, you want to connect to. It's just a handy little tip. So the next thing you need to do is you need to assign some interfaces to the bridge. So you would normally do this in square brackets and you just comma separate a list of uh, interfaces you want to add. So EMP1S0 is the only interface that I have on this machine and it's the only one I want to add. So the next thing I need to do is tell it I don't want to use DHCP for this. So DHCP4 false and then I also need to set uh, some static details. So address is, and then again, it accepts a list, comma separated. So I'm gonna assign it a static IP address. Um, I'll give it the same one as what it had. Um, you also need to give it a gateway. So gateway four, and give it your gateway address. 
Um, you also need to add your name servers. So this is done as a, uh, a separate two line type thing. So you have a name servers section and then in your name servers you add your addresses. And in here you, again you have a square bracket list of addresses that you would like to add. So for me it's 192.168.0.11 um, and then I will also add Google as a secondary DNS and why not let's add Cloudflare, why not, so as a tertiary DNS server. So that's my um, configuration, so I've told it to ignore using DHCP on the actual interface and then to add a bridge with that interface, not use DHCP but instead assign a static IP address. So I'll write that file out using control O and then close this down using control X and then you need to apply that file, so sudo uh, net plan apply and I have an error in my file so we'll go back in and edit that which is I haven't added a space between my my setting and its value so we'll just close that out and do that again so to net plan apply and then in our IP link show we should now Uh, we should now have down here a separate interface which you can see bridge EMP 1S0 well you can't see it my face is in the way so here you go you can see it down there bridge dash EMP 1S0 uh, we can check that we've got an address as well so let me just rearrange my screen a little bit so it's more uh, consistent so I'm going to do IP address show and you should see that I have the IP address in here, this is a big text so, but you can see it has assigned to my bridge that IP address and we can double check we can ping some stuff so 192.168.0.1 is my router so you can see it's pinging that fine, uh, .10 is another host on the network so again I am pinging that fine so my host connections are fine. Now what you have to do next is configure your um, your virtual machines. So in the networking tab, and then we are going to specify shared device name, and then in here we're going to add our bridge name. So bridge, and then ENP one S zero, and then apply. And in your um, XML, it will now have changed. To, to this. So it will say interface type is a bridge, give it its MAC address, and then in the source bridge, this bit here is where we specify the new name of our bridge. So uh, everything else looks fine. So I can now go back to the virtual machine and start that. So I've now uh, restarted my guest and uh, opened the terminal, and I should now be able to ping things on my network as before. So. Uh, that's the router, that's fine. Another host, the machine, that's fine. And then my host machine, I should now also be able to ping. So that is from your guest to your host. I didn't show you not being able to get from your host to your guest previously, but if I grab the IP address of this, so EMP1S0106, I should now be able to ping the opposite way as well. 106 and as you can see I have communication both ways so that's how you uh, get communication between your guest and your host um, within a KVM QEMU virtual machine manager uh, setup on Ubuntu so there is two more gotchas uh, that you may come across one is that if you have your guest set to auto start they may not come up uh, as expected there's a fix for this and the second one is to do with if you have a sleepy host so for, let's deal with the first one first um, if you edit a configuration file we can change some of the way that um, the spice server works now the spice server provides you with kvm access into your guests so what we can do is we can fix this uh, by editing the file as i said so sudo nano and then it's in itsy uh, libvert and then it's Q 
qmqemu.conf and in here we are looking for a line called spice underscore listen so I'm going to do a where is spice underscore listen and in here we need to change this so that it's not zero 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 we need to change that to colon colon one and write that out so now that should fix the issue where the spice server is not initialized uh, before the machine comes the guest machine comes up to do with an order of things anyway and then the last thing is the sleepy host so sleepy host is where your machine is going um, to sleep or to suspend or to hibernate or to hybrid sleep uh, so the way we do this is we do a system control and then we mask those options so sleep sleep dot target is one of them suspend dot target is another one hibernate dot target is a third and then hybrid sleep hybrid dash sleep is the last one so you would enter this uh, it would ask for your password and basically you're telling it not to do those things now I'm okay with my machine sleeping this is my workstation so if I'm accessing the VMs I'm gonna be here on my workstation so it's not a problem for me so I'm not gonna execute that code so I hope that's been helpful so in this video I've shown you how you can configure your host so that your guests can communicate with your host and vice versa and then also gone through a couple of the gotchas um, with changing these things in Ubuntu NetPlan and with the spy server for QEMU KVM uh, I hope this has been useful if it has let me know in the comments and like and subscribe for more content like this thanks for watching